running an online business is challenging. You don't have the luxury of working with your clients in person. You can't collaborate with and help your team members on the spot. And sometimes you have to work even harder to attract new business, turning leads into customers with great content. Thankfully, ClickUp is here to help. Hey there, my name is Christy. I am the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life. We are a systems and consulting agency that helps you set up your ClickUp for success. I'm also a verified ClickUp consultant. So I know a lot about ClickUp and I've worked with a lot of companies to develop their workflows to run their online business. Now, I don't know about you, but I know myself, I definitely learn best by example. So I can't wait for you to see this video tutorial today where I am going to give you tangible examples of how you can run your online business with ClickUp. From project workflows to content creation to business finances, I want to give you concrete examples of how you can get yourself organized and gain clarity in your processes, your finances, your systems, your team with the amazing tool, ClickUp. So let's dive in. So let's dive in. Okay, so starting with the most basic form that you can use ClickUp for your online business is basically as a digital to-do list. So this is our simple ClickUp system. I'm gonna click into here and just show you a couple visual examples but in the description, you will also be able to download this free template and tutorial, which goes really into depth. But say you're just getting started with ClickUp, maybe you are your online business is newer as well and you really just want to make sure that you are staying on top of your task list then you can use this literally to say have tasks that are assigned to you and go through each day and be like here are the things i have to do every day every week you know maybe it's a one-time thing um, and you can just add them to this task list task name put a due date on it and then make sure that you get it done. So basic checklist. Then you can also have statuses like to do in progress complete or other ones that you want to add to this as well. Um, then you can also have a checklist that's still pretty basic, but it's grouped by different business categories, admin, finance, backend, legal, research and development, the list goes on. So then this one is personal to do, but this video is business related. So I just want to show you this, this visual of the most simple form that you can use ClickUp for, which is our simple ClickUp system. Now let's give you some other visual examples of how robust this tool can get. So as you can see, we have our general hierarchy here. This is a hierarchy that we use for a lot of different clients, but of course it's going to vary from industry to industry, business to business, right? Like say you don't have a programmer course, then you wouldn't have to have a space that said programmer courses. So here you can see we have operations, growth, marketing and PR, clients, programs and courses, and then a personal space if you want to track personal things. But again, I'm not gonna get into that. We have a whole other YouTube video on that one. So going through operations, I'm not going to go into depth into every single list and space and how you can have this laid out, but let's just give you a couple examples of things you could build out in terms of team resources. Say you are growing your team, organizing your team, whatever it may be, you can use ClickUp to house an SOP database where you have all of your trainings and tutorials and everything is neatly organized into ClickUp. You can also use a doc to have your employee handbook nice and handy in here for you. Say you want to have a team database to be able to visually see who your team members are, what the information about them, their email, birthday, contract, employment status, etc. So here you could see three visual examples of ways that you can manage your team. Now, back up a second before they actually become your team member let's talk about the hiring process so you can absolutely manage your entire hiring process from start to finish in ClickUp visual example here you have the job description in a document 
the application form built out into a ClickUp form. And as soon as someone fills that out, they then come into application submitted and you can bring them along the entire pipeline after reviewing their application. Are they in consideration? Did they have a round one or two interview? Did you offer them the job? Maybe they're not a good fit, et cetera. And not only is this so nice to have as a workflow, but it's also incredible to have as a database because say you're hiring for a specific role in your company and then later down the line you have to hire for that again you now have an entire database of candidates that who knows you can reach back out and be like hey we're hiring for this position again are you interested and maybe they still are maybe they were your second round maybe they were your second or third pick so you can also have this as a database, not only to keep you organized during the process, but to refer back to. Now what happens when they become your team member? Then you can map out your entire onboarding process for them, which this is not only going to make you feel so much better, but really make your team member feel so much better as they are diving into the system, especially if they are new to ClickUp. Okay, so those are just a couple visual examples in terms of operations, team hiring, onboarding, and team management. Then you can do amazing things with ClickUp in terms of sales tracking, revenue tracking, financials. So here you can see we have this template um, where we sell this and then it has a dashboard. I'll show you the dashboard in a second. And we have this automated through all of our payment platforms. This is our test one, obviously, that every time we get a sale in any platform, it comes into this database automatically, categorizes itself with which processor, the gross and net payment, the month, etc. And then this is where the magic happens. We create a sales dashboard demo that then will say how much this month's growth net, this year's all-time revenue. It breaks it down by platform. Let me actually go back to this list and just create a couple items here. So you can see if I go ahead and duplicate this, let's just pretend that these came in automatically. Then if I go back to the sales dashboard demo, this is automatically gonna update because this is for this month. So you could see how this is just such a beautiful thing. <laughs> this is one of my favorite templates and one of the things we use like every single day at Dissolve Life because you can immediately know your numbers for the month, the year to date, all time whenever you want them. Okay, so that's sales tracking. You can also manage your entire launch within ClickUp. Um, so we're actually going through a launch period right now and we use this exact tracker. So, so many of the templates that we sell, we literally use for our business and for our clients as well. So these are just like a really good example of it's not just like a hypothetical, we literally just like import this and we say, okay, what do we have to do for this launch? And then we do the same rinse and repeat process. So you can do so many things with the, in here, like what do you have to do in terms of launch, um, launch emails, tracking, things like that. So that's in terms of like growth, right? Then you can just have within different categories, like task lists for sales, marketing, admin, et cetera, where you can just throw tasks in here that are related to that category, keeping yourself organized. Okay, we went through operations, we went through growth. Now marketing and PR. So you could do a ton of different things. I'll just go into marketing now. Um, PR, you could do things like networking, collaborations, podcast outreach, et cetera. But marketing, this is our content calendar bundle where we have a list and a workflow for every single individual platform. Because each platform, although the content creation process is similar, it's a little bit different for each. And then we also wanna have a master content calendar where we can see what's being published on every individual platform. So let's go into Instagram as an example. You can see the task is the actual post. You can use tags to note 
um, what type of uh, post it is. Is it a graphic or image, reel, carousel, etc. And then this can go down the entire pipeline of I need to create this, it's in progress, I have to film it, it needs edits, ready to schedule, etc. Now you can use this completely on your own or you can collaborate with a team and use this. And so then that's where automations comes in and you can do things like when it hits a new status, it reassigns the next person in line. So that's an example of marketing. I know this is a ton of information, so you might have to watch this video back to really absorb it all. But again, like I mentioned, this is really to give you a visual of how you can see the power of this incredible tool for your online business. Okay, so that's an example of marketing. What about clients? You can have project-based clients, you could have retainer clients, you could have consulting clients where you just do strategy sessions for whatever it is. Let me show you our workflow mapping template. This is an example of one project that has a start and end date that's grouped by phases. Again, we use this exact template for our system builds. Um, and so obviously it's unique to us. We have unique project phases for that build and standardized tasks and timelines, but you can see how you can have an entire project in one list that's really nicely grouped by phases, who's doing what, what are the start and end dates. And again, even if it's just you and you're a solopreneur, you can totally use this just to manage your own process for the project or even see if there are things like that you're waiting on client review for. So you can see this is a way where you can use statuses and drop downs to still know the status of the task, but group it in project phases. Also, you can do things with Gantt view, like using dependencies. So if one piece of the project is moving, then it moves everything after it. Okay, so that's an example of client management, project management. You could also use this workflow mapping template for internal projects as well. It doesn't just have to be for clients. Then programs and courses, last one here. Um, you could do so much with this. We have different forms that our students submit for their workflow audits, our monthly office hours, but you can do things too where you are mapping out your course and program material. For example, we are in the process of revamping our entire ClickUp course now that 3.0 is available to everyone. And we mapped out all the lessons. Some of them will be the same as our previous material, but we wanna re-record it in 3.0. So we have the ClickUp 2.0 and then we have ClickUp 3.0. We mapped everything out and now I'm in the process of going through and being like, okay, I filmed this, it's ready to upload, it's finalized and uploaded into Circle, all the things. So now you're like, okay, Christy, that's awesome. But now what happens when I have all of these lists and I'm starting to feel overwhelmed? Well, that's where the power of ClickUp steps in with the amazing ways you can really customize this. And then you could have something like example and everything view calendar that's just filtered that the assignee is you. And then you're like, okay, so I have all these things in all my different spaces. I'm working on content and launch and client projects, etc. But now I have one entire calendar or dashboard that's showing me just what I have to do today, this week, this month, etc. So there are so many ways to really customize this and make it your own, but then also bring in the data in the way that you need to see it. So that's the beauty of ClickUp. It is not one size fits all. You can really customize it to be as simple or as robust as you want. Reminder to take baby steps. If you are brand new to ClickUp, you do not have to build out everything I just showed you immediately. You are going to want to take it slow and steady, start building it out as simple as possible, getting used to that, and then growing from there. So I hope this is helpful. I know, again, it was a lot of information, but I hope it just helps you visualize the power that ClickUp has to grow with you and get your online business organized. So I hope that video was helpful for you in learning how you can run your online business with ClickUp. If you want to know even more, we actually have a free training called Scale 
scale with ClickUp where it's a one hour training and we go into these items even more in depth. This video was more of just an overview so you can tangibly see what it looks like to set up ClickUp for success. But in this free training, I'm gonna go and dive deeper. So I will link it in the description below, scale with ClickUp, make sure to check it out. And if you found this video helpful, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any other ClickUp tutorials coming down the pipeline. With that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.